Hi, this is Bitluni and today I share my first experiences with really cheap surface mount assembly from China. If you are following my channel, you saw me developing various PCBs for my projects. My intention providing project kits on Tindy or to my supporters was to simplify replicating them. Still there's the hurdle to solder the kits, especially the surface mount components, and me assembling them for you doesn't really scale. The Pico VGA boards were more optimized for that and I could reflow them lowering the time needed. However, I still had to place each tiny component by hand. A few of you might follow on my trash channel the build of the pick and place machine, which should address this once it's ready. But today I will show a cheap alternative I tried in the recent weeks. As you might know, JLC PCB, which is also today's sponsor, started offering a surface mount assembly service. Since I'm using them to order my bots anyways, I tested it. It's still in beta with some major limitations, but you get a ton of coupons to test it with your project and get away with a total of under $10 shipped. For convenience, I've been using Easy Day to create my designs in the past. This also works really good with JLC assembly service, as you will see. So let's try a really simple batch. This is the circuit with Charlie Plexing LEDs as seen before. I laid out all components on both sides. A major disadvantage with the new service is that you can only assemble one side. I decided to let JLC assemble the tiny 0603 LEDs since they have to be oriented correctly and are pain in the ass to solder. The other side uses only 0805 components that should be really easy to handle. No worries, I will also show a more complex design in a second. First step is to export the Gerber files. You can't use assembly from the link in Easy EDA yet, but we can just download them. The Gerber files contain all the layers of your board designs like image files. The next step is to export the bill of materials short bomb from the file menu. This lists all parts that have been used. And the last step is to export the pick and place file from the file menu. This file contains all the positions and orientations of all parts. If you go to jlcpcb.com and click order now, you can upload your Gerber files. Then you pick your PCB options. For now, only green boards are supported for assembly, which I hope they change soon. When you scroll down, you will see there is a switch where you can turn on the SMT assembly. There you have to pick the side which has to be placed. Your boards need some tracking holes so the parts can be placed precisely. If your board doesn't have any holes like this one and you pick edit by jlcpcb, they will add the holes for you like you can see here. In my second design I used a bunch of pin header holes, so they took these and didn't have to add any. You can also easily solve the issue by penalizing your board adding borders, which will have the needed features. However, VCAT is not supported for now. Stamp holes, also known as mouse bites, will leave some marks at the edges. Back to the order process. When we confirm, we get prompted for the files we just exported. Simply upload them and continue. In the next step, the parts list will show all parts that are used on the selected side. JLC uses a subset of LCSC parts. If they don't have the part from your bomb, you can pick a similar one. In this case, it's an 0603 LED. Use basic parts whenever possible to avoid extra fees. Once selected, we are ready to proceed. In the next step, we get a preview of the placed components and the costs. After adding it to the card and checking out, you can select a coupon during payment. And as you can see, with the slow shipping, I get a total of 780. This is insane. The slow shipping took good two weeks on top of the three days of manufacturing. I also tested the more expensive DHL Express shipping. Ordering the boards on Monday evening, I got them the following Monday morning. It feels to me like there are good times ahead. How about a more complex design? This is a board I made for an upcoming project. It has all components on the top side. As you can see, it uses several basic and extended parts. To simplify my order, I used only available parts directly when creating the schematics. You can find the available parts on the homepage. Just copy the LCSC part number and use it in the editor. What you will not find are any mechanical parts like buttons and connectors. I hope that changes in future. 
Also, be sure you have every part confirmed before ordering, or you get what you ordered, no question asked. No. By accident, I deselected all parts but one in my order. I really shouldn't do night shifts. Okay, we are fine here, let's check the preview. Okay, the preview might not be very encouraging, but they clearly state that the preview is better. The parts appear rotated, but since I used the parts from their own library, I ordered the bots anyways and they came out right. I also have an example what happens if an error occurs during placement. This happened to the order I screwed up. They failed to place one of the 30 bots correctly. However, they put a mark on it and included a letter explaining that in order to prevent delays, they shipped it like this and I can get a coupon or refund if I like. So be aware that could happen anytime and order spares. Ordering 30 bots didn't take longer and wasn't much more expensive comparing to ordering 10. I will keep you updated and try different services in future. So I hope you are as excited as I am and I see you next time. Bye!